Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't think that Star Wars was cooked before, it is certainly cooked now. I'm baffled that Disney made this decision. Regardless of what your thoughts are on Star Wars now, the decision they just made is probably one of the worst ones I could ever imagine, and that is hiring Simon Kinberg to write the new trilogy that's coming, apparently. If you thought that Rian Johnson was bad for lore consistency with The Last Jedi, he has nothing on what Kimber did for when it came to the X-Men movies. I enjoyed most of the X-Men movies. However, this man could not get anything towards a consistent story. Not only that, but same with the casting too. The fact that these two people played the same character is banana. I understand why Dinklage kind of at the point because that was at the height of Game of Thrones and probably the producers were just like, hey, let's do this. And that is something that I feel that Kimberg is very much a yes producer man. He will say yes to them to keep the work he's doing. And this guy somehow still keeps getting hired after having directed and wrote the disaster that was X-Men Dark Phoenix, which essentially killed the X-Men franchise, like the movies, not the Logan movies, obviously, but this man is a destructive force beyond all potential. Aside from Dark Phoenix, this man has one other movie under his belt, and it is the 355, which no one remembers. No one remembers. It bombed was panned and it bombed at the box office and even though it had jessica chastain attached to it it still was like doo-doo i can say yes he has been a part of certain things in the past like he was the creator and one of the story writers for star wars rebels which was kind of back and forth between being good and bad uh like i mentioned he did do some of the good uh x-men movies but he also did a lot of the bad ones he also did mr and mrs smith but then he also did jumper and this means war and fantastic four the fan four stick this guy is mm, i i just don't understand why they thought this is the guy this is the man after they just had the huge thing with stephen knight who could not make a script that was deemed good enough for the ray movie which as far as i know is still dead but stephen knight who's one of the best writers in television and movies right now if he couldn't write a script that was both good but also didn't mandate what the producers wanted how on earth do any of y'all think that this guy will write anything that is good at all for the story he will write something that the producers will like i just i can't believe it i don't know how a man can fail upwards this well this guy is one of the worst screenwriters, not the worst, but he is one of the worst in Hollywood right now, and this man just got given basically the golden job. I can't fucking believe it. I honestly cannot fucking believe it. But we'll see if this actually goes through. We've seen so many canceled projects at this point. I didn't even know that there was another trilogy in the talks, and I don't even know why or where, and I don't even know why they say the Skywalker saga unless they're planning on bringing Ray back. I don't know. We'll see. But most likely, knowing Disney, they won't plan it, so we'll see. Anyways, those are my thoughts about it. Curious to see what you guys have to say. What do you guys think about uh, this whole thing? Do you think this will even work out? What are your thoughts on Kimberg as a writer? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. See you guys next time.